I think like beyond a doubt, the best thing that I've learned and the most important thing that I've learned from the beginning is just respect. Like, you know, having respect for the people that came before you. I have my video parts, but I hold every video part that came before mine at a much higher accolade than, than what I've done. With this film, there's so much more to do than, than just a video part, you know? There's so much more of a story to tell, and uh, that's what I'm excited about, having the opportunity to show, in my opinion, what, what snowboarding is to me, and I hope that influences kids to, to enjoy it as well, you know? For Pat to have his own project, and it's a Vulcan project, it just, solidifies that he's reached a point in his snowboarding where he's he's become one of these guys that he's been emulating his whole life. I moved out of my house when I was 17. I drove across the country to California and did my senior year of high school online, and I've been traveling ever since. It's kind of funny, like I, I live in one place for like three months of the year now, and then I get sick of it, and I want to live somewhere else. It's embedded in, in who I am now, just traveling and seeing what, what else is next. Quebec's got a, a bunch of pluses. It's got the hills, it's got the mellow attitude from people, it's got a lot of snow. It's so cool to go to like the famous spots like that artillery building, you know, with the white wall and the channel, people air over and do wall rides. And then like the battleground, like with the walls and the rails, you feel like the energy almost. So much insane stuff has gone down right here. You just see so many trannies and everything all over the place, so you can just like envision jumping on. Yeah. Look like, might as well stop. Check it out. Yeah, it was pretty promising, but it doesn't really, kind of nothing, huh? The hunt to try and find new terrain and like new features is like that, that is my season. Driving around all day for like two, three days and at a time like we did here in Quebec, it can like be draining. But the fact of the matter is, is like no matter where I go, I'm going there to snowboard and I could come to a city that a million other people have been in and go to a spot that like plenty of people have filmed tricks at, and I could find something that's totally different than what they're looking at. There's always something else. He drove around, looked for spots, and it's crazy, the photos he showed me from those spots he want to hit are all untouched. They've never been hit. I know all of them, because I live here, I've seen them, but they're all new ideas. They're great ideas, you know? Just get in the car, go drive around, and you'll find stuff that no one's ever thought about. I think for me, the hunt is like, what's next? Like. What are we going to find? Like, are we going to find it? I feel like it is out there, <laughs> you know, and we, we got to find it, whatever it is. Without a doubt, when I'm watching a video, I care less about the, the trick than I do about the feature. Like, I'll, I'll be watching a, a part and be like, man, that's a sick feature. Like, I wish I could ride that instead of being like, oh, that was a super cool trick. You know, if I want to see a, a double cork or something like that, I just turn on the TV and watch one of the contests. Like, I watch a video to see, 
cool creative spots. My style of snowboarding is changing, like what I want to ride. I really think it's interesting and, and cool to do park tricks in the city, you know? It gives it a, a whole new life. I grew up in a place where my town got snow and when it snowed a lot in town, like we would go into town and, and ride the stuff that was available to us. If you live in a place where there's snow, if you have a shovel and you have like some friends, you can build wherever you want, do whatever you want. I never went to a resort, you know, for the first four years I was riding. When I grew up, I was riding the golf course across the street. So we'd, we'd set up rails at specific places and jumps. It's sort of like a first connection with street stuff. Casual D minus. No. <laughs> Hammer. So squared up. I heard a team manager once saying to get off the rails because the, the rail game was played. Flew over my head or went by one ear and out the other. <laughs> I still think the coolest thing in the urban riding is rails. The gnarliest rail guys in, in the industry, like if you think about like Nick Sabe and LMP, those guys are gnarly. And he knows what he's doing more than anybody else. He's been putting out consistent, sick parts for years. I've never found it difficult to film video parts because that's that's what I like to do. I'm proud of some of the parts that I've had, but I haven't had like that one part that I'm like, all right, this is I'm like psyched on this part. What I'm trying to take into this video is to go get like the tricks that I want to get and do all the gnarly shit that you want to do. That's your own personal drive. And then also have, just have fun too and like film it. I don't even want to make a video for anybody else. I just want to make a video for us that we can watch 10 years down the road and, and laugh about, you know, be psyched on. And that's, I guess that's kind of the motivation that I have right now is to like make something that we can be proud of. It's like I'm addicted to that, to that moment, to that like, Got it. You know, in a filmer, you can't freak out behind the lens. You're like trying to film and concentrate. And I'm like freaking out inside when, when like someone gets something. Just like, yes, yes. Woo! <laughs> it's so good, dude.